Hi everyone and welcome to this video where I want to talk about coin with parlance. If you want to push uh, very high in solo or in group, coin and parlance are the key to get to the highest tiers to get the maximum possible uh, potential because they are really really overpowered especially to finish off elites. So I see a lot of people that uh, use coin with parlance wrong or don't don't really get the most out of them and here I want to give you some examples of myself using coin with parlance while pushing to give you maybe a better understanding of how to do it better. So first of all, you need to know that corner pilots scale exactly the same way that Monster HP does. So this is also why in low tiers, corner pilots are absolutely useless, while in high tiers, they're completely ridiculous. Because they always deal the same percent value of the Monster HP effectively. So this means that, for example, for a yellow pack, you need like around 15 to 20 seconds of corner time to finish it off from 100 to 0. And corner always sets five targets. So you want to make sure that you get most of the trash out of the way and also like weaken some of the leads in case you have a lot and uh, get them like a bit lower so you can actually finish them because if you don't finish them you're usually pretty screwed because you have like you know some leftover leads at 10 or 20 percent and you basically wasted a corner because you can't kill them also it's very important that you make sure that you can click the corner panel especially when you make a big pull around it sometimes it happens that there's like some monster staying on top of it and you actually can't click it when you want and this can cost you a lot of time so here we have the example that um, i have a, a bunch of elites here uh, there's like some illusions in there and also like a lot of yellows and so on and i'm already very far behind on time so this is pretty much a lost cause anyway i was mainly just trying to um you know get notes out of the content and to practice a little bit to um see what i can do and uh, you have to make sure that we have like more than like, let's say two or three elites you need to get all of the trash out of the way or most of the trash out of the way this is very important or else you'll not be able to kill the elites of the combat and it's effectively wasted but here in the end it actually worked perfectly so this was fine uh, i managed to finish off all the yellows and uh, this was like an example of a really good combat here so uh, is at the end of the floor you uh, you know get, pull everything there from the start maybe finish off one or two elites on the way there and uh, then you click the corner at the end and get the rest out of it. Otherwise, you would have to skip all of these elites and never get the progress. Here's the next example. We have a corner panel at the end of the floor, and uh, it's not really going to be a very good corner panel because there's only two blues and one real low HP. So I try to check the next floor because I know I will have left over conduit after clicking it. So I go to the next floor and prepare the pull. I actually found a blue there, and here you can combine both floors with the conduit. So you get them all close together. You want to make sure they're stacked next to the pylon, and then you click it when you think you're ready, and finish off everything. And like this, you can you know kind of cheat your way out of a bad convert by um, you know trying to uh, at least get the next pack on the next floor a little bit lower, so you can actually kill it off. Um, so this is here how it goes. We have some illusions here, but uh, overall, um, yeah, blue packs are much easier to kill than yellows. Because the others usually have like minions running around everywhere and so on, so it's like a lot more targets, and uh, the minions don't really give you much. While blue packs give you, you know, like lots of broke gloves um, for uh, very little com like HP comparatively. So generally, um, yeah, blues are much easier to kill than yellows, and uh, this is just the same way for the conduit, because uh, yeah, they have usually lower HP unless you get something like metal lords or golgos or something. Yellows always have um, like a very similar HP value. They uh, they get like a, a flat HP bonus, while uh, blue effects actually get like a multiplier to their base HP. Here's another example of a pretty good conduit. Um, we have some illusions. You have uh, lots of packs, and you have like one of these situations again where you need to get a lot of it out of the way and maybe get the elites a little bit weaker first. So when you have these big pulls, you want to make sure that you use them to deal error damage, to just hit many targets at once, you know, deal most DPS effectively. And then when the elites are a little bit weaker, you can try to finish them off. When you have so many packs, you know, it's very risky to take it, especially with illusions around. You want to make sure you focus on illusions first with the conduit, or like the illusion pack that spawns them, because they just take away so many steps that um, they can easily destroy your whole conduit. And uh, especially when you have like two illusion packs or so, you have almost no chance of a conduit to get through. So this is very important. You have to get the illusion packs uh, the, the weak as fast as possible. Then you pick the conduit and uh, try to finish off um, yeah, usually the yellows first. So always uh, aim for those unless you already see that, you know, it's not getting hit enough and the conduit will not kill it. But generally, this is what you do. You kind of ignore the blues and just let them, uh, you know, zap down to at least low HP but uh, you want to really make sure you kill off the yellows because else 
you might waste a lot of time trying to kill off like a 10 percent hp or something that didn't get like the last step you know even like one more condo tick can make the difference between like a 30 second time loss or not as you can see here for example it takes very long to finish off even like a 10 percent blue or a 10 percent yellow simply because um you know after the condo there's like no targets left no area damage and you're just not doing any damage anymore Here's another example of a really terrible conduit. So uh, what happened is I had a really good floor and I actually finished off every single lead, which is insane. But um, yeah, I got like the conduit near the end of the floor and uh, like this, I had nothing to do with it. So uh, typically um, when you push, you need to make around eight to 10% 10, 10 progress per minute. And uh, this means that when you kill like a blue pack, you get like maybe four or 5%. When you kill a yellow pack, you also get like around five, 6% depending on, you know, the monster types and what what means and so on. And uh, this means that when you click a conduit and you only kill like one pack and nothing else, it's it's basically not worth. You, you're basically losing time. So uh, you have to make these big pulls and you have to make sure you finish off the elites because this is really what the conduit is for. So what I did here is I went to the next floor, which actually happened to be a good map, uh, but terrible monster type. So the run was pretty much doomed, but I tried it anyway. And um, I tried to stack up the elites at the start of the floor. And since Multishot, for example, is relatively mobile, I would actually not lose too much time on the corner to try to get all these, uh, you know, elites to at least low HP so I can actually kill them in a good time. Because you can see on the timer, um, I'm already close to where I need to spawn the Rift Guardian. So uh, basically, I need something really good now, finish off all these elites and, you know, get a tons of progress and somehow spawn the boss. And uh, here I click the pylon and I just rush to the next floor because there's nothing else to con it besides like a yeah, little bit of trash. And uh, I focus on, you know, the yellows, try to get a blue low or kill it. And uh, this is uh, essentially how you have to do it in this situation. So uh, you just ignore the trash, run to the floor and uh, run to floor two. And then you con the elites. It didn't quite uh, work out to finish them off because, um, as I mentioned, you need like around 20 seconds or so for full HP yellow. But um, I got them close enough to potentially try this, at least if this was a good monster type. Here we have another example of a lost cause. We have a pretty decent floor one and uh, there's a conduit up there in the corner and we have like still like two yellows, one blue and uh, lots of trash around, but I was already way too far behind in time. So here I was just like, okay, I'm just gonna click it for some free XP and uh, that's about it. Yeah, we have like the blue full HP illusionist pack. It's also one that doesn't really follow very well. Uh, we have the Mordo like, teleporting around in the middle of the trash. So this was, would take forever to get rid of all the trash and um, make something out of this. So I just decided to click it and go next game. Here's an example of uh, kind of like a mediocre conduit. Uh, we have a decent map with small trash and um, I tried to find all the elites after finding the conduit. So usually um, you, when you find the conduit on a, on a good open map, you want to make sure you get all the elites next to it. And you know, basically you can just rush to the end because you just discovered a pilot anyway. You're not going to get one anytime soon. So uh, you just, you know, finish off all the trash all around, gather all the elites and, you know, in the progress, you can get them a little bit lower HP and then stack it around the conduit. And uh, you then you go and just blast everything and you clean the entire floor like this. Because usually what happens is you, you know, get like a few elite packs and uh, some of them have shitty monster types, some of them are like yellow shielding, teleporter, whatever, and they will never die. So you have to kill them with the other conduit. And in this case, you know, you can just, you know, explore the entire floor then click the conduit, finish everything off, and you actually get a nice progression out of this. Where otherwise you would just skip the rest of the floor and all these leads. This is an example of a really bad conduit. So um, I was making some progress after going to floor two. Uh, it was a decent monster type in a shitty map. So I decided to keep going because I was actually staying on time. And for me, this is good enough. And I was really hoping to not get a conduit. But as it happened, I actually made too much progress and spawned the pilot and it happened to be the conduit. So this run was pretty much over at that point. But I decided to try it anyway, and uh, I found two yellows, which is not terrible, and uh, you know, clean up the trash a little bit. But here we had the issue that one of them was following me up to the conduit, and it had shielding as well. And uh, like this, they spread out basically in the last moment when I was about to click the pylon, because I couldn't really drag them up there. I had to do it in the room, and um, they both survived. So this is like the worst case scenario, basically, because I killed off all the trash already and then I don't kill any of the yellows with the conduit. So effectively, I wasted 30 seconds and the pylon. And you know, usually you want to get uh, like one or two minutes of free progress out of um, the conduit pylon. So obviously this is um, doomed now. And even with this 10% HP yellow, 
you can see again it takes like way too long to finish it off because no error damage is uh, like there's nothing to fuel some dps on the guy and i waste like basically another like 20 30 seconds to finish it off next example here is also another bad conduit we have um, two blue packs and where one uh, of, the, of the guys is like stuck behind so effectively i get one blue pack and nothing on the next floor so this is actually a nice position here at the end of the festing woods but um, I already finished most of the packs and there was like one or two packs that I left behind at the start of the floor that are way too far away to, um, you know, conceivably kill with the conduit. And um, I just tried to click it and see what I can do. But yeah, this was already um, like a lost cause as soon as the conduit spawned basically because um, everything is too far away. I couldn't even kill this one pack. And then when the blue pack is spread out over two different spots, there's no way you're going to kill it with the conduit. So in this case, you should probably just ignore it and maybe just electrocute some trash and that's it. And here's one last example of uh, a situation where I was effectively missing a conduit. Again, we're at the end of the floor. I have um, a bunch of elite packs and they're all really low, but there's no trash around. So in this case, you have to skip. There is no way you're going to make time on killing elites. And I know that I've made a lot of progress since the last pylon. And typically, a lot of maps have a pylon spawn at the start of the floor or close to the start of the floor. So, you know, once you've played enough maps, you can kind of memorize the spawn points. And um, when you go to the next floor, you can tell, you know, how far you have to go to try to get a pylon. So this is what, something you can do. You can just go to the next floor and uh, try to get something at the start and then just go back, kill everything off the conduit, and uh, there you go. So it can go both ways, you know, going uh, to the next floor of the conduit or going to the previous floor, depending on, you know, where, what the situation is exactly. So one thing you need to know about pushing is that uh, sometimes you might open a map and it's like decent, but not quite good enough. And you're still falling behind on time or, you know, it's going well until like 30 percent. And then you get a really bad elite pack and it just, you know, hinders your progress a lot. So um, this can happen. And then you kind of need to play. You need to high roll more. You need to play as if everything went into your favor and uh, i do that very often when i'm pushing and when stuff starts going bad i play as if everything was exactly the way i wanted to be from that point on and if it doesn't you just leave and uh, in this case it's the same with the conduits so you know you just play and you have to invest time into you know kiting elites you have to get them low hp and so on you're not really getting out of fighting elites until they're dead so you basically just keep playing and just uh, even when, you know, you get a pylon at like 40% and then the floor ends at 50%, you know, there's a very low chance you get another pylon and there's an even lower chance it's going to be a conduit, you know, depending on, you know, what you've already spawned and so on. But essentially you have to play as if you get the conduit exactly there at 50% at the end of the floor to finish everything off. And if you don't, you leave. This is just how it goes in pushing. And uh, this is also, you know, how I, how I try to spawn corner pylons sometimes, you know. I, I open many festering routes, I open many battlefields and silver spires. And uh, there's also like lots of other maps that, you know, I play through into floor 2 or floor 3. And, and it usually comes down to getting the corner in the right place. But uh, it's not just pure RNG, which is what I try to show you here. It's also how you use it. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video here. I hope it helps you to... Um, push a little bit higher yourself in the future, not just you know, on a Demon Hunter, but on any class. This was just an example of my Demon Hunter pushing, but this applies to everyone. Hope you liked the video, and I'll see you guys next time.